Hey guys, welcome to another uh, C++ and game tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about pure virtual functions and abstract classes. So let's start with pure virtual functions because once we know that, abstract classes is really, really easy. So a pure virtual function uh, is sort of like a virtual function. So if you look, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I've got my program set up here. I've got a class enemy. So let's go ahead and uh, draw our little class hierarchy. Let me get rid of this CD of Andromeda texture stuff. All right, so let's draw a little class hierarchy. This blue box, this is enemy. Oops, this is enemy right here. And then we have scorpion, which inherits from enemy. So scorpion will be black. And then we have vampire. Uh, and vampire also uh, inherits from enemy. So it looks something like this. And then we've got little arrows going here. So both scorpion and vampire are a type of enemy. And all three of them have a attack function. Now let's go ahead and print out the attack function. So what I've done down here is I've made a vector of enemies. So this is all the enemies in our game. And then I pushed back uh, three uh, different enemies to it. I pushed back just an enemy. I pushed back a scorpion and a vampire. So now let's loop through and uh, print out all of their attack functions. So for int i equals zero, i is less than enemies.size. We go i plus plus. So with this, what we're going to do is just print out uh, their attack function. So let's go ahead and uh, touch this up with a new line and then just call their attack function. So we can say enemies i arrow attack because remember, uh, this is a vector of pointers to enemies. So these are allocated on the heap and we need to use the arrow since they're pointers. All right, so this should call attack for all three of them. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we go, we get uh, enemy is attacking, scorpion is attacking, vampire is attacking. Now, you'll notice we used polymorphism down here, which we uh, just learned about, uh, because we have a vector of enemy pointers, but we add a scorpion and a vampire to it. Uh, remember, we can do that because they are a subclass of their base class enemy. And because of that, we can use polymorphism and we can uh, uh, store, a, store uh, them in a pointer to an enemy. So remember, if we don't have virtual in this attack right here, then these are not going to uh, be used. These attack functions are not going to be used when you call attack from an enemy pointer. So if we run it now without the virtual function, you're going to get enemy is attacking three times. But that's not correct because two of those enemies are supposed to be a scorpion and a vampire. So what is a pure virtual function? Well, what is what is an enemy like this doesn't really make sense so we have a list of enemies and when you think of an enemy you're going to think like oh some kind of monster a scorpion uh, a bandit a vampire you know something just an enemy uh, there's no real description there you, you're not going to have just an enemy that doesn't really make any sense instead you're only going to be using things that derive from enemy so in this case you're never really going to need to make an instance of enemy and it wouldn't really make sense to make an instance of enemy uh, because you have functions for all the different enemies or sorry you have different classes for all the different enemies enemy is just your base class that you're deriving some basic functionality from uh, so what we can do is not even implement this attack function and instead uh, first of all, it's virtual. Instead, we're going to make it a pure virtual function. And what that means is it's just a function that does nothing, basically. So what we do is we set our attack function equal to zero, just like that. And then we don't have to do anything else. So now this is a pure virtual function. So what that means is it's like a normal virtual function in that these will override it. Uh, but what's special about it is since there's no implementation here, these functions or these classes that derive from it have to override it. Any class that derives from the enemy class will have to overwrite this attack function. So if I don't uh, write an attack function in Scorpion, I'm going to get errors. You have to do that. So what is an abstract class? Well, it's just a class that has a virtual function. And the reason it's called an abstract class is because you can't make an instance of it anymore. Anytime you have a virtual function in a class, that means that that function doesn't have an implementation. So if you were to try to call enemy arrow attack or enemy dot attack, that wouldn't make any sense because there's nothing there. So it just doesn't let you do it. But that's what we want. We don't want to be able to make an enemy. We only want to be able to make scorpions, vampires, bandits, you know, things like that. So let's go ahead and go down here and you'll see we immediately get an error down here because we're trying to make an instance of our enemy class, which is an abstract class, thanks to this equals zero. So that's fine. All we got to do is get rid of this. Now we just have two enemies 
and they are a scorpion and a vampire. Now abstract classes are often also called interfaces, uh, so you could also think of this as like uh, an interface, um, and it's used for a whole lot of different things. Uh, you'll probably see this uh, quite a bit, uh, pure virtual functions, especially if you're doing uh, user interface stuff, because there's a lot of uh, different controls that'll probably inherit from a base interface. Alright, so thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, stay tuned for some more cool stuff.